Hi, EXE, the eLearning XHTML Editor, is a tool that's designed to make it easy for teachers to author structured educational resources and package them in standard formats so that they can be deployed into learning management systems or repositories. You don't need to know any details about either XHTML authoring or packaging standards. It's an open source tool, so someone in your organization can extend or customize it, and we provide binaries that are free to download and use for Microsoft Windows, for the Macintosh, and for Linux. I suspect that you could actually make a very good start by just downloading it and giving it a try, but I'll give you a quick orientation so that you can be productive immediately. Our goal is to create an IMS common cartridge. The way we go about that is using this simple EXE authoring screen. You'll notice that the user interface is divided into three parts. The outline pane, where we structure the pages of our course. The actual authoring pane, where we author the contents of each page and also associate properties with the course. And the iDevice menu, where we can select templates that help structure the content of each page. When I start a writing project, I typically start from an outline. So let's do that here. I'll build an outline of the pages in my resource. I can use the Add Page button to add a number of pages, and I can either use the Rename button or simply double-click to give them meaningful names. And these arrows allow me to promote and demote nodes to associate their position in the hierarchy and to move them around within the hierarchy. Now that I've laid out the basic structure of my resource, I'm ready to start working on each page. And that's where the iDevices come in. The iDevices are a simple templating scheme that encourage some pedagogical structure within each page of my resource. So, I might want to start with an Objectives iDevice. This iDevice has a simple, single field that includes a rich text editor. That allows me to insert not only text, but also images, movies, audio files, mathematical symbols. When I'm done entering text, I can click the green check mark to indicate I'm done with the iDevice for the moment. And that gives me an immediate preview of what the page will look like in my learning management system or deployed on the web. If I want to continue editing, I can click the edit box and I'm back in the edit mode. If I decide I need to delete the iDevice, I can use the red X or I can position the iDevice within the page or move it to another page. Every iDevice includes tips on completing each field of the iDevice and some basic information to the author about how to best use each iDevice. From that point, I can continue building my resource by adding multiple iDevices to each page and then working through each page at a time, composing it of iDevices and simple body text, which is called free text in EXE. One convenience feature that EXE offers is the styles menu. This allows you to build a styling that's consistent across your entire organization and apply it to your resource in one menu. Now all of the pages of my resource have picked up this new style. Before I export, I'll associate some metadata with it. So I can give some properties to the package and also some metadata that will be exported with my package to make it more useful and easier to find in a repository. Now that I've associated some metadata with my package, I'm ready to export it. So we'll go to the File, Export, Common Cartridge menu item, and give it a name. This exports 
the entire package in standard format. I don't have to worry about any packaging details. EXE does that for you. All of my resources are bundled together, and the metadata is there as well. I'm ready to upload that zip file to my learning management system or into a common cartridge player. And it really is that simple. If I want to continue editing, I can add new pages, I can add new iDevices, edit existing iDevices, change the style. And EXE really is that easy to use. It's taking care of all of the details of XHTML authoring and the intricacies of the packaging system that we selected. And we can take our same content and export it in a variety of other ways. Perhaps we want a series of web pages or maybe even a collection of iPod notes. As you become more skilled with EXE, you may want to make custom iDevices. We provide a simple editor so that you can extend the iDevice set for your particular application or for your organization. The user interface has been translated into more than 25 different languages. I really encourage you to take advantage of the free download of EXE, install it, and give it a try. You'll be productive immediately making packages in standard formats. Thanks.